You just want to quickly fix that broken toy. The leaking pipe or the chip mug. No problem. Put a bit of glue on it and it's done. Not quite. When working with adhesives, we usually wear gloves. First and foremost, because we're working with chemicals, we want to protect our skin. But there's another reason. Our skin surface is covered with contaminations and greases, and these can contaminate our bonding surface. That's why, before each adhesive bonding, it's always important to use gloves. What you should definitely do before every adhesive bonding is cleaning. And that goes for you guys out there as well. Oil, fat, grease, dirt, dust, or even silicone spray. These are all killers for your adhesive bond. Every grease or dirt particle that sticks to the surface becomes part of the adhesive bond and separates the bonded material from the adhesive. By the way, the instruction that the surface needs to be grease and dirt free can be found on nearly every adhesive packaging. Okay, but how do you clean properly? It's best to use a special cleaning spray. Just like adhesives, there are countless cleaning agents. And rightly so, Depending on how sensitive your surface is, or how heavy the soiling is, you either need a gentle or a powerful cleaning agent. By the way, these aren't even all the cleaners we offer. To make things easier for you, we've put together a cleaning agent overview to help you choose which one's right for you. There are thousands of different materials in the world that can be bonded with each other. As I've explained in my previous video on all-purpose glues, a rough surface is ideal for adhesive bonding. It enables mechanical interlocking of the materials. That is why roughening the surface before bonding is often very helpful. Depending on the size or the surface of the component, you can either use a wire brush or good old sandpaper. In industrial applications, the so-called sandblasting technique is often used. This means that the materials are treated with a special abrasive combined with compressed air. After sanding, we clean again to remove the sanded off dust particles. Then the clean surface can be bonded. In some cases, roughening the surface is not possible. So what do I do when I have a passive surface, but I still want to achieve a durable bond? A primer, also known as a bonding agent, works just like an adapter. It provides better wettability and enables a chemical reaction between the adhesive and the material that is to be bonded. So, without gloves or roughening up the surface, it's no wonder the adhesive doesn't stick. Yet, your first thought is, this stuff's useless. But that's not true. In most of the cases, the problem is usually between the ears and you didn't pay attention to our tips, unless you picked the wrong adhesive. That's also a very common mistake. How to choose the correct adhesive is going to be the topic of my next video. Thanks for watching and stick at it.